Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this Two Minute Tuesday, I'm gonna provide you with a little tip you need to know about when you're working with Power BI data sets and paginated reports. All right, since this is a Two Minute Tuesday, you guys know what I like to do instead of all this talking, let's do what? Head over to my laptop. So let's say you created this nice data model with all your relationships, your calendar table, and you got implicit measures in it because they just work for you and you wanna use them. Um, and you wanna use this data set to build out a paginated report. So what you do is after you, you're done designing it, you click publish. Once it's published, you go open up the Power BI report builder um, for paginated reports, right click on your data source, and you'll see an option right here to add a Power BI data set. Go ahead and click it, and you click it, and then you go to the location where that data set is stored, and you'll see I have one called implicit measure. I'm gonna go ahead and choose it and click select. Once I click select, I wanna add a data set, okay? So I'm gonna right click and say add data set, and then click query designer. And then what's gonna happen is you can totally, you can completely write your own DAX expression here, your own DAX query here, or you can use the query designer. I'm just imagining that a lot of people are gonna use the query designer, okay? So I choose a query designer, give myself a little real estate here. Here's all my, you know, all my tables, but there's my measures. I click and expand my measure, wait, what happened? Where's my measure? Well, it's because you're using an implicit measure. Par paginate, the Power BI Report Builder, and when you're building paginated reports, does not detect those implicit measures. You actually have to create an implicit measure. So what you would do is, you'd head, ba head back over to your Power BI desktop, and in the, in the model that you created, you would go ahead and add an explicit measure. So by default, Power BI is aggregate aware and it creates these implicit measures for you. What you need is an explicit measure. So I'm gonna total sales, just something simple, right? Sales amount, something really simple. Go ahead and add it to my model. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and hide this one because it's gonna produce the exact same thing, right? And then I'm gonna save and publish. So we'll go ahead and publish this. Once it's published, you'll see what happens once it gets all published. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this published. Once it's published, you go back over to the query designer in your paginated report. There's a little icon right at the top for refresh. Go ahead and click it. Give it a few seconds to go out and grab all the new metadata from the schema. You'll see my measures appears there, expand out the plus, and now you can see my my explicit measure that I've created. What do you guys think, right? So just a step, just a quick tip that you need to know if, you decide, if you're deciding to build paginated reports against Power BI data sets. Okay, you got any questions, comments, you know what to do, post them in the comments below. Your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. You like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.